Hello everybody, this is Tim Brzezinski. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use the counters and connecting cubes tool within the digital math tool section of the iReady teacher toolbox. Students also have access to this tool uh, in their iReady curriculum on their Chromebooks. All right, so let's go to it and check it out. And you'll see immediately he got a 10 frame right there, right? You'll see a number bond over here. And by the way, we can rotate the number bond by clicking that tool. You can make it like this, like this. I mean, we've drawn it all different ways, right? But um, start clicking on these circles, and you can start filling up that 10 frame in order. You can click on different colors, right? By the way, you can click on any one circle, change the color at any time if you really want to. Or I think you could click on a bunch of them and change them all orange. Or it clicks, uh, highlight all of them and change them all blue again, right? So um, kind of like that. But let's refresh and let's see what we, uh, we have. Let's look at this party for my uh, this uh, party this um, problem for my ready, which happens to reference a party. Gia brings six balloons to the party, and Ezra brings six. How many do they have in all? Right. So we have two people. So let's actually put up two ten frames. To add a ten frame, just click on this icon here, and let's fill her up. Let's let Gia be blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, in order to actually fill this one, we have to drag it in like ourselves if we click on if we click on it it'll just fill it here we can drag it there if we want but three because uh, this manipulative uh, fills them in in order so we have six and six there right and so now if students can build this themselves we could think well you know how can we actually determine what the sum is some will, re will revert to counting of course but some will you know hopefully we want them to make that ten right so we can actually go here and start okay well I can fit four in here to make ten right so now I have 10 and 2 which I have 12 right so that's one way we can go about doing it let's refresh another way is actually to use uh, the uh, more of like the freestyle tool it's kind of like a free spirit here right you can just simply click on six of these it'll put them in random places and here's Ezra's balloons right there three four five six right but now we want to organize them all right here to do that we can click on this That'll group them nicely, right? And so now we can now we can see we have we can use the pen tool. We have six here. We have six here, right? Or we can now uh, we could erase that. All right, let's get out of here for a second. But now we could try to make a sum of ten up here: six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten, right? There's ten right here, and there's two right here. So we have 12 all together. Okay, so that's one way to go about uh, doing it there. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you with uh, 10 frames here, by the way, you can hit this tool to add as many as you want. You can use this tool to delete 10 frames at any time, right here. You can actually uh, do this problem out. Um, you can actually have uh, the manipulative group them for you, but I think there's something powerful about having the students do them themselves so they can see the 10 forming physically as they move these circles, right? So right here we have six plus six, but now before we actually physically move these four up here, but iReady will do that automatically. If you feel it's appropriate, you can just have them hit this icon and watch what happens. You click it, see how four of them jumped immediately. And again, that's still kind of fast, but in my opinion, but you know, but again, if you want to use it, you could, all right? And notice here we have 12 and we can actually click here and show the number bond any which way we so choose right notice here if I if I take this and delete it I have a different number bond altogether right but the sky's the limit here so let's uh, let's see here like Maria has 16 markers nine fell out of her bag right so we can model this uh, here really quickly I guess we do so we need 16 so it's one two three four five six seven eight. we have ten one, two, three, four, five. So we're immediately seeing 16 already as 10 plus six, right? And we have nine that fell out of her bag, right? So we can go ahead and literally remove nine right here, right? We could take it away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? So we see that there's seven left or some other teachers may want to uh, change the colors of all of them, 13, 14, 15. Maybe the ones we take away, we're gonna turn orange. So maybe we could change the colors here before we move them away, okay? 
But again, how you use this is up to you. But this is pretty much uh, the extent of what this tool can do here. Uh, six and then seven, eight, nine. See what I mean? Kind of like, uh, like that. So, um, but we could see it. If you will, uh, right here, we have uh, 16 here. We have nine and seven. So obviously if I take away nine, I have seven that are left over. So this is another powerful way to do it here too, to show it with the number bond that seven's our answer. Okay. So um, again, we could always do it here as well with, the, with more of the free shapes there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Let's regroup them. And notice here, three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But you know what? If I hold my computer this way, I think, let me try this again. No, it doesn't. But, um, but yeah, that's kind of how it, uh, this tool works there. But obviously we can delete nine or change the colors of one of them at any time to uh, try to solve this problem here. All right, so this is the, uh, that tool here in iReady and um, hope you found it useful.